Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Y'all, the sun is out again. It's shining. I got little birdies flying around in the trees. Oh, it is so fun, y'all. Okay, today's video, I am going to be taking leftover meat mixture that I used to make the lasagna in the Instant Pot the other night or in the last video, video before this one, whatever order they're in, y'all. Okay, I'm going to be taking that leftover mixture and I'm going to be trying to turn it into meatballs. I'm repurposing some leftovers and I'm going to try to turn it into another meal. Now, the thing about this mixture is it is already, the meat was al is already browned Okay, because you saw me do that in the lasagna video. It's already browned, but it has cream cheese in it, which means it's going to be a little goopier, um, not holding together as well in a meatball form, firm as if it was just ground beef by itself, raw and you're trying to put it in a meatball. What I'm saying is, since this is already a meat mixture that has cream cheese in it, I am going to have to put a binder in it to draw all this together so it won't all bleh, you know, and not be a ball. It might be a glob, okay? So, I've got to get a binder. So, I went to the store, and I got, y'all, I've been eating some trail mix, and I feel like I have it all over my mouth. I'm sorry, do I? Okay, um, <clears throat> I am. I went and I got some breadcrumbs, and I got um, an egg, and I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese in it, uh, like cheddar cheese, to kind of try to draw it together, and just a teeny tiny little bit of flour to help incorporate all this together to make a binder to hold it together in a firm meatball. You know how you normally make meatballs with just your ground beef and some seasonings and an egg and stuff like that, okay? When you get it together, it's firm. But like I said, since this has cream cheese in it, it's going to make it more like a glob. So I got to have a binder to hold it together. So I have got out all my stuff in here. Walk with me, please. I've got all my stuff, glasses. I've got all my stuff out in here. I'm going to put all my mixture in this bowl right here. Uh, the meat mixture, a little bit of extra cheese, egg, breadcrumbs, teeny tiny little bit of flour. I might put in some extra seasoning, <gasps> some fresh basil, okay? And then I'm going to start working these up into meatballs. Now, another good thing about these is they're not going to have to cook as long in the air fryer because the meat was already browned, okay? I need to cook them just long enough for them to bind together and stick together. But what I'm, I'm going to do a little trick, y'all. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use my cupcake liners just in case they do fall apart in the um, uh, baking process and I don't want to be globby mess in the little tray of my air fryer. So if they do lose their shape a little bit because there's cream cheese in them, then I'll, they'll be in the little cupcake silicone cupcake liners and all I have to do is just take them out, y'all. And then with that, I'm going to, I just bought a bag of some stir fry vegetables, something with a little different taste. And just all I have to do is I think those are steamable and heat those up in the microwave. So tonight's meal is going to be repurposing leftovers. And I'm going to throw a vegetable, a bag of vegetables with it. And we're going to call it meatballs and meatballs and vegetables. <laughs> meatballs and stir fry vegetables okay so i'll set my camera up and i'll let you see my process and then we'll get these babies in the air fryer y'all i already had it in this bowl right here so i think i can work with it in this bowl i've got eggs i mean i've got an egg a little bit of flour italian breadcrumbs and we're going to add a little bit more seasoning that's gonna take forever we're gonna dump it in there. Okay, here we go. 
I'm going to get in here and I'm just going to mix this up, y'all, okay? I'm not going to use this hand. I'm just going to use one hand. All right, we're going to, oh, there goes some of my seasons. We're going to start mixing all this up, incorporating all of this. I may have to get another egg. We'll just see. It may take one. I don't know. There goes the egg mushing up. It may take one. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I may need a bigger bowl. <laughs> That's okay, y'all. I'm just trying this. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, now y'all gonna have to behave on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I turned my, I moved my table. Sorry. That made y'all fall over a little bit, didn't it? All right, I may have to add some more breadcrumbs because this is a lot of mixture, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add some more breadcrumbs. Y'all are fixing to fall again. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, y'all, let me get this mixed up, check the consistency, see if I have a good meatball consistency. I do see I'm going to have to add some more breadcrumbs because see how sticky it is? I don't want it that sticky. So I'm going to have to get me some more breadcrumbs and incorporate this. And when I get it mixed up and I get it comfortable to, to, to the consistency that I want it, as I start making them, I'll bring you right back and let you see, okay? All right, y'all, I got the consistency that I wanted. I'll let you see. See how it's not mushy? It's holding together pretty good. And if I can roll it around like this, and it's not sticking all to my hand and gooey, then I got a good consistency. There you go, meatball. Now, I'm putting them in my silicone liners, just so when they are heated up, if they get goopy on me, y'all, and they go flat, they'll be in my silicone liners so I don't have a big mess in my air fryer. So I'm going to finish fixing these up and I'll get them in my air fryer and then let you see what they look like in the air fryer and then we'll cook them. We'll let you see what they look like when they get done. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I got these all rolled. I got them in the air fryer in the cupcakes and change of plans, I still have plenty of meat mixture left over. <laughs> So, there's going to be another meal. So, guess what, y'all? Use your brains. I'm seeing maybe for our next meal, maybe for tomorrow night, meatloaf. See, this meat mixture was so versatile. I can actually use it for different things and use it different ways. Tonight's meatballs. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do a meatloaf. And then just put the ketchup on the top. And then I'm thinking about picking up, while I'm out in town tomorrow, picking up a couple of sweet potatoes and doing baked sweet potatoes with meatloaf. There you go. So I'll have tomorrow night's meal. I do have a little, um, there's a bunch of ways, y'all, you can do meatloaf. Let me sit down for a second. <laughs> There's a bunch of ways y'all can do meatloaf. You don't have to do them in the little loaf pans. And I actually have a little small aluminum one that fits in the air fryer, okay? So I can either do the loaf or y'all, you can actually do meatloaf bites, meatloaf in cupcake liners and make little muffin uh, shaped meatloafs, mini meatloafs, get it? Okay, so there's y'all an idea to come up with. So tomorrow night, um, I'll either do the loaf in the air fryer in the little mini aluminum uh, meatloaf pan, or I can shape them, put them um, in cupcake liners, and there might be like maybe four to a piece for me and my husband, or there might be five, okay? And then put it with uh, sweet uh, baked sweet potatoes. I think I'll do that for tomorrow night. Unless he tells me that he wants something else to go with them. Okay? So, y'all, here's tonight's meal, tomorrow night's meal. I'm going to let y'all see what these look like after I got them in here. There we go. Now, some of them are bigger because those are going to be for my husband, okay? He's a growing boy. I have to take care of him, okay? So, I am fixing to get these into the air fryer 
and turn these on. Let them start cooking. When they get done, I'm just going to plate them up with, and I'm going to steam our bag of vegetables, plate them up, bring y'all back, let you see what they look like. Or if, uh, if I have time, um, if I, if I run out of time, excuse me, I will just take a picture and put it at the end of this video. And then tomorrow night, I might attach tomorrow night's video making tomorrow night's meal i might attach it with this showing you how i'm going to use the meatloaf okay and how which way i'm going to make it and what goes with it so you'll get two meals in this one video okay and then that that y'all that's ways to repurpose leftovers you may just have to have something to finish supplementing a meal when you repurpose leftovers y'all that's it shop wisely save your money okay so i'm fixing to get these in here get my bag of vegetables um steaming oh yeah and this basil i'm going to save this for tomorrow night's meal y'all to put in the meatloaf okay because when i was mixing all this up i forgot my basil over there <laughs> under my my light y'all and um I forgot to put it in there when I was mixing it up so I will put it in the meatloafs little mini meatloafs tomorrow night I may do that y'all I may do the mini meatloafs we'll see y'all I'll see what my husband wants to do but uh, that this video y'all will get two in this video okay repurposing leftovers I'll bring you back let you see what they look like all right here's what they look like when they came out of the air fryer okay I did them on 375 for 10 minutes first. Then I took them out and flipped them over and then just did them for two more minutes. And y'all, you can still use these meatballs to, to dip in any kind of sauce of your choice. Um, boudin sauce would be good. Uh, what's that called? We're going to use some of this tonight. Um, Roumelade sauce. Can y'all see that? Cause we're going to pick up some boudin balls in town the, the next few nights so um any kind of sauce ketchup ranch for the kids okay uh you can make up your own secret sauce you can use any kind of sauce you can also use these meatballs and put in some spaghetti sauce and serve them with spaghetti noodles and have spaghetti and meatballs okay so i'm gonna plate these up here in just a little bit and um let y'all see what they look like when i get done and just like that, y'all, we have tonight's supper. See that? Y'all, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. This little lamp, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. I just have to kind of shine it down on the food, and hopefully you can see what it looks like, okay? Uh, but, yeah, just vegetables in a bag. And then, y'all, them eggs came from downstairs. They have, like, a little snack thing, and they've got a little two-pack of boiled eggs. I just turned them into deviled eggs because I had some mayonnaise and relish in here. So, see, use those resources downstairs, okay? So, the next clip in this video will be tomorrow night's meal. Y'all hold tight. Hey, y'all. I want to pop in just for a second at the end of this video because um, when my husband got off work, um, I was asking his ideas about doing the meatloaf. So, change of plans. I'm not going to be doing the meatloaf and the mashed sweet potatoes because he's like, okay, I've had enough of this meat mixture. So... <laughs> Okay, I get it. All right. Y'all, sometimes it's a good idea to get your husband's input, get your family's input, okay? You can only repurpose so many things so many times before, you know, somebody might get a little tired of it, okay? Normally, if somebody gets tired of leftovers, I will put it in a um, freezer container and put it up and <clears throat> save it for another meal down the road. But like I said, since we're in a hotel, I don't have the space to do that with y'all. So, okay, he's he gave me his input. He let me know. And I don't have the space um, to put it in a, in a container. There's no little freezer in here. Yeah, 
It's just a refrigerator. There's no little freezer. So the meat would ruin y'all. So I hate that. But y'all, he gave me his input. He let me know. And that's what I wanted him to do. So we're going to scratch the meatloaf and the, ma the, ma the mashed sweet potatoes. But one night, I may still do some meatloaf and just go get the meat that I need to make a meatloaf with. Okay, so that may still be a meal for another night, just not using that leftover meat mixture. Okay, he wants his meatloaf more juicy and, you know, better consistency. So that's okay. I thanked him for his input. He was honest. He let me know. So we're going to scratch that meal. So, but I will still probably do meatloaf one night and with fresh ground beef and uh, make it, you know, regular and with some mashed sweet potatoes. But just not with that mixture. So, just thought I would let y'all know that. Hey, it's get your husband's opinion sometimes, okay? Let them have a voice. Let them tell you, okay, sweetheart, I've kind of had enough of that. You know, he didn't want to hurt my feelings, but he was honest, and I appreciate that. So, meatloaf will be another meal for another night. Just not with that mixture. I just thought I'd let y'all know that. See y'all in the next video.